Bago Discover fans, I'm going to try a long range flight today, there's absolutely no wind, it's about 7 o'clock in the morning, really nice and sunny, so perfect conditions. For this particular flight I've made a couple of changes, I've now put the video receiver right the way out here on the wing to have as much separation as I can from the, the dipole antenna of the Dragon Link. I, I will probably later move the Dragon Link out onto the other wing here, but I tested this yesterday and got 9 kilometers uh, on low setting on the Dragon Link. Um, but the difference with this flight is that I'm going to use a 5000 milliamp hour battery. I've got it set quite far back on my battery tray here, secured quite nicely. The CG balances out quite nice. I'm not sure if it's going to be able to take off though, so we're going to have to see how that goes. There's no wind at all, no headwind, so I'm going to have to run with this one. Um, so if it takes off, then that's going to be great. And the idea is to, all the way out in the distance there, uh, we measured it on the map yesterday, and that's about 14 and a half kilometers to the peak there. Uh, that's where we're going to try and fly to today, direct flight. Um, and directly back uh, should should use around about 80% of the battery so it shouldn't be uh, it shouldn't kill the battery and should have time or let's say uh, power to land um, I'm gonna land in this field here yesterday it was quite wet so it was very difficult to to get purchase on the floor when it uh, when it came down to land um, so you really need a long, long distance to land, so hopefully with this extra weight we'll be able to get it to come down. So let's see how it goes. I was pretty happy with how easy it was for this to take off. I had to throw it quite hard, but I um, don't think I need to, to do the running actually. But with the 5000, uh, it was able to take off. Um, I was running full power just for a few seconds. Uh, I don't think you can do anything ar acrobatic with this uh, size of battery, but uh, anyway, it flies quite stable, quite straight. Didn't have to use too much. Um, too much throttle to fly level. So I'm just uh, testing the return to home here and giving myself the opportunity to put on my my goggles. So I'm in return to launch at the moment, put it on my goggles and uh, then I'll put it into stabilize mode and take control of the plane again. Um, I have a friend with me, um, he's uh, Helping me out, he's um, he hunts a lot in this land that we're about to 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 go over. So if anything happens, I'm gonna ditch it in the forest, and we'll go and get it afterwards. He's much more familiar with all the landmarks uh, than I am. So uh, as I said in my previous videos, try to be safe. Try not to fly over uh, residential areas and over lots of people. I think if we're going to hit something, it's probably going to be a bear or a moose or probably a tree. But anyway, uh, so he he's watching through the goggles all the time and uh, and seeing uh, uh, familiar landmarks from the air, uh, so we know where we are all the time if something goes wrong. I'm fast forwarding here. Um, I can uh, watch him back through these videos. It's not. It doesn't really translate very well to good viewing, a long range FPV flight. I think this flight took about 30 minutes in total, so I skip through, skip through quite a bit of it now, fast forward it and so on, just to, to get to this peak. Uh, right now we're probably about 8 kilometers, and uh, I'm experiencing a crosswind coming from the right hand side, so I'm getting a little bit concerned but uh, still pl plenty of battery life. Uh, we're about nine kilometers now away so this is the same as I did in the previous day and uh, now we're at 10.3 uh, and, and hit the goal. So then uh, I put it into return to launch mode 
um, playing around with the the gimbal. I've got it on a uh, on AUX3 on the uh, rotational switch on my DX8. Um, you can see here. I mean, there's no there's no way of seeing actually where I took off from. Too far away. Um, this is all very foreign to me. Um, all the landscape. So I don't have any references that I recognise. But I do have somebody with me who who knows the land very well, as I said. But uh, without having a directional arrow on my on my OSD, I wouldn't really have a clue uh, which way is home when I turned around. But uh, this this part is all flown with return to launch. I'm not touching the sticks at all. But if you're going to set up your OSD and you're going to fly out this far, put put home direction on because uh, that will really help you uh, point back in the, in the right direction. When you go that far out you really have no idea where you came from. So that's the fast forwarding done. Uh, we came all the way back, very safe. Um, I think at this point I've probably used about 75% battery uh, that according to the OSD. Um, so uh, yeah, as you see it's not so exciting when you when you uh, put all the clips back together to just fly straight out to 10k and straight back to 10k but uh, it was just more of a point of the video of showing the setup that I have and uh, the fact that it will go out over 10 kilometers uh, I had no problem with the uh, uh, with being in control of the plane I was on the low setting it's on the Dragon Link um, all the time and um, uh, so I could always uh, bump it up to high to get uh, control back. Um, I have throttle fail safe set so it will naturally go into return to home if I lose connection. And the video transmission was perfect all the way. In fact, um, I was also, I, was, I have two receivers as you've seen in previous videos. And one of them was the omnidirectional antenna and I could actually still have a decent uh, video signal using that uh, out at uh, um, 8 kilometers. so yeah no real problem but uh, there you go 10 kilometers. cheers <laughs>